Good morning. Happy to Monday. <laughs> it's Monday. Happy Monday. I hope you're all doing well. This, um, I haven't, I haven't posted a video in a really long time. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just haven't had time. I'm just starting to kind of finally come up above water a little bit more and get kind of more into like an actual schedule for the first time since baby was born. So if you haven't seen my last, I think I posted a video on it. On my last video, um, I had a baby girl in January, the very end of January. And, um, so it's just been like really crazy. It was our first baby and, um, it's just been a a lot. She like didn't sleep. She had really bad reflux. <laughs> she, so we had a, it's been a time. Um, so we're just kind of like getting out of that like treacherous phase cause she's almost six months. And so she's been like, it's been really good. The last like month and a half, two months or so, um, has been much, much better than the first like four months. The first four months are brutal. So I'm getting back more into like working now again and into like a schedule because she's leaving her crib now so no more contact naps which um i'm i'm like re i was ready to part with like i loved them and it, sometimes i miss like snuggling with her like that it's just so sweet but um i really enjoy having like the times during her naps to be able to work and like actually get stuff done more um it's a lot less stressful so uh, I thought maybe I'll try vlogging today a little bit. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'll have to probably vlog just during her naps because um, my husband and I have decided we don't want to put her online at all. So um, it was going to just have to be during her naps, but that's when I work anyways. So we work, well, I work in our bedroom now. Um, I don't have an office anymore because it, we are in a two bedroom apartment. And so we made my office room, her room, obviously that was always the plan. So that's her room, which is really nice that she has like her own room to sleep in. And so I can actually like, it just works better. It's a better room for her. So I don't have an office anymore is basically what I'm getting at. Um, I moved my graph tech and everything to the office that I share with my mom. Um, she has an office space, like a two office space. Space. and so she lets me use the other office which is so nice of her <laughs> because I can't afford to like rent an office space so um, I have my graph tech and everything there and all of the sticker kits and everything and here I have my computer and my laminator for foiling um, out on the kitchen table and my chopping guillotine thing uh, stowed away in our bedroom and our my printers did I say printers I have my printers here as well so um I just do designing and printing here and chopping and I'm not really foiling right now because the foiling extra steps I just really don't have much time for because she naps for like a half hour nap typically like a two hour nap and then a half hour nap at the end of the day it's just what she likes to do I don't know we try to get her on like another schedule for like an hour and a half in the morning hour and a half the afternoon and then a half hour in the evening she just she just does a half hour in the morning two hours around noon and then uh, half hour in the evening so that's her current sleep schedule and it, I don't know it just works for her so she went down for her morning nap as you can predict it's 8 14 right now I need to start her sleep timer because um she went to sleep I log everything in Huckleberry we use Huckleberry for her and log all of her bottles and her sleep and everything in there um and diapers it's just so much easier so easy <laughs> and then also when my husband comes home and he takes over he can just like look at what's been going on he said he kind of looks at it throughout the day too to kind of see like how she's doing throughout the day and how, how our day is going um but it's just so nice it's so easy so when he takes over um when he gets home he knows where things are at so today um I didn't I planned in my planner last night in here when we were watching tv before we went to bed and um I have really restructured how I do my days because of this schedule. I really never know for sure how long all of her naps will be. Sometimes in the morning she does do an hour and then like an hour and a half in the afternoon. Like it just all depends. Like it's just very so much right now with her. Um, the last, last week this, she's been doing half hour, two hours and half hour. Uh, but it just, it can vary depending on how tired she is. Um, so she does the same total sleep each day. Like she always does between like a little over three hours three to three and a half. Um, but it just varies how she gets it sometimes. So I realize I can't plan like certain naps to do certain things. Like I can't plan, okay, first nap, I need to get this, this, and this done. And then second nap, I do this, this, because I never know how long they're going to be. And I would just get so stressed out about like, oh God, I don't have enough time to do this. Um, so I 
instead just made like a running to-do list. And when I had time, I just start on the to-do list. And then whenever I have to stop, I stop. And then I just start pick back up the next nap. That way I'm just keeping like a running to-do. And I try to keep it like manageable so I can actually get the stuff done and they don't get behind because that's stressful. So I kind of keep it to like a few to-dos each day. And then um, if I have extra time and I feel like doing more, I'll do more. Otherwise I can just relax a little bit, which rarely happens now, right? So um, that's always nice. I've been reading a lot too, which is really nice before bed. So that's been like a relaxation thing for me, which has been really nice. Um, but yeah, so that's how I schedule it. And then I also just plan out our wake windows, like get out and do things because it makes the day go by faster and she enjoys it. Like I think she really likes getting out as well. So we're gonna look at my planner for today and see what we have. Okay, so here is the overview. Um, and this is kind of what I've been doing. Let's see. This is, this kit actually is super cute. It was a, a garden birthday um, kit. It was called A Garden Birthday. It was from the sub and I think it was from the sub. It's really pretty, but I love this one. So I had extra, so I kind of snagged some and started planning with this week. So my during her first nap, I've been trying to do a workout, like just a quick 20 minute workout or so. Just something that's not gonna be too sweaty because I don't have time to shower in the mornings um, during her 30 minute nap. But just like a quick little Pilates or weight, just something not not super heavy of a workout. Because like I said, I can't shower. Sometimes I'll just like wipe off with a baby wipe. But um, yeah, today I am doing this instead. So I'm not actually probably going to do a workout. And I'm quite tired because I've been up since four. But anyways, so I have my running to-dos of things that you need to get done um, so far for this week. And then the wake windows, like we're going to cut releases. So we're going to go to the office after she wakes up and cut new releases on my graph tech and play with her there my mom got like a whole play mat for her there and some toys which is so nice and so we just kind of hang out there and she loves seeing her obviously her, her granddaughter but yeah so that's today's goals we want to print orders um i want to get caught up and get orders out because i was going to do that last week and they're well, let me flick. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about it in a second. I to print the orders. Um, I need to check the stock numbers because I put the September monthly kits, print the September monthly kits, and then I want to design one new kit for this weekend, the journaling kits. Um, so most of this will happen during her second nap because that's like the two hour one typically. It's around lunch, so I'll eat lunch and I'll pump and I will work on this stuff. Um, so, yes. Last week, um, we couldn't cut like I wanted to because there was an issue at the office where we couldn't go to the office. It, it was like a whole, a whole little thing. Um, but we couldn't go in there because of like the fumes of like the people, the company behind the office that were doing things in there, like painting stuff. And so it was just smelling up the office. So we didn't want to take the baby in there um, or be in there ourselves. So my mom also left. So we couldn't go in there last, the end of last week. So this week is looking good. So we're going to go in there this morning and cut on the graph tech. I need to bring the other kits, the enchanted wood kits out of here that I printed um, and bring those with us. So yes, that's the plan for now. This is also the cabinet I got to store my work stuff here. So this is like the only area. We don't have a huge room in here, obviously. It's just like an apartment. Um, but I, here's some of her clean laundry I was doing. So in here I have my printers um, and some like paper and stuff so I need to grab these guys um, and take these with us because these are the uh, enchanted woods kits that I need to cut on the graph tech so I gotta take these with us to the office when we go during her next wake window when she wakes up which should be like 20 minutes so I think since I do have like 20 minutes, I'm going to try to find a quick little Pilates workout on YouTube and just do a little workout in here for like a quick like 15 minute workout. Um, since I do have a little bit of time, I would love, I just feel like my brain will be a little bit more clear today if I get like a little bit of movement in for myself. So we're going to do a quick little workout and see how that goes. Okay, so we're back home. It's a little after 11 now. We went to the office and we cut some stuff. Um, I didn't show anything <laughs> because I was just holding the baby the entire time while I was trying to like um, cut the like put everything in the machine, the graph tech, and let it run, and then play with her. Um, she has like a little bit of a separation anxiety. I think it's a little early, but she kind of started this a little earlier on, anyways, like five months. Um, she doesn't love when other people hold her, including my parents or anybody else besides my husband. Um, we're the only two people that can like hold her without her 
like immediately crying. So um, it makes it a little bit challenging. So I got the August, like I got two, like half the August monthlies cut. I'm gonna go back after her, this nap, um, after second nap to cut the rest of them, hopefully. And yeah, so we're back home for the nap. She was just fussing a lot. I think it's her teeth are coming in, so they're hurting her, poor thing. Um, she has two bottom teeth right now that have already come through. And then I think that she has like maybe a top tooth and like a canine or two coming in on the bottom because we've seen like it look like they're coming in. Um, and then we just saw like some white coming in on top too. So I feel like she's just like getting all of her teeth right now, which I feel like is a little early at six months, but I think it's like a huge range um, for when babies can like do things. There's always such a huge range for when what's like normal for babies. Anyways, so I just got her to sleep. Um, poor little one was kind of fighting it, but she was like, she was okay. She was like happy. She's going in between. Um, but anyways, so I am back in our bedroom so <laughs> I can start working again. I have my lunch here, a little salad I made. We have been getting these to-go containers from Amazon. I get the ones that are biodegradable because I don't want to like do a lot of waste. But right now, dishes are just so hard to get done for some reason. Like still, we're getting around to it. But like, I have to wash so many bottles and pump parts all the time that I'm just like exhausted. I don't want to do dishes regularly like the amount of dishes required to like meal prep things and everything it's just not happening right now I'm hoping to get back to that soon but in the meantime I got biodegradable containers that we use for our lunches and I just make like a bunch of salads and like one night I just set them all up and I just literally throw a bunch of stuff in them and then pop them in the fridge and then we have lunches for the week because we're trying to save money as well since I'm not like working as much as I was and I'm not able to um, we're kind of down to one income. So things are a little, little tight, a little snug. So we're trying to save as much money as we can. Um, we just don't have a lot to spend. So I started doing this thing as salads and, um, this is what I put in them. I'm going to tell you because I don't know, it might be interesting to some people. I was telling my mom about it and she's like, wait, this is a good idea. Like I'm going to start doing this and she started doing it and she loves it. So I'm like, maybe this is a good idea. <laughs> I don't know. It works really well for us. So, um, we go to Trader Joe's personally, just cause this is the cheapest grocery store in our area and i get like two bags of arugula i mean the, the amount will vary depending on how many salads you need to make but i get a couple bags of like arugula because that tends to hold up really well compared to other lettuces but you can use whatever lettuce you like but arugula for me or like kale or something like it's pretty hearty so it'll hold up a little bit better than like romaine um but get what you like so i get some arugula a bag of shredded carrots this is time saving we're trying to save time and make this easy meal prep um bag of shredded carrots um if there's anything else that you really love in salads you can do that but I'm trying to like minimize chopping personally then I sometimes I'll get a red onion because I kind of like onions in my salad um but you don't have to do that obviously some little like grape tomatoes or something because you can just throw those in grape tomatoes and then what else do I put in it I'll put in like lentils like at Trader Joe's they have refrigerated lentils in the pack and that's really easy or you can just throw in some lunch meat um or like deli meat or something like that or if you like rotisserie chickens or I don't know just something that's already pre-prepped and ready to go. I also like their marinated tofu there because you don't have to heat it up and I just kind of break that up in the salad. Um, what else? Yeah, so the protein, and then I usually put in like a little feta or just like a drier cheese. You can use like a shredded cheese if you want. I just get crumbled feta um, or crumbled goat's cheese. You could do that. And then I will add in, I'm missing things, some seeds of some sort, seeds or nuts. So we'll add in like pumpkin seeds, like the pepitas kind of like the you know, not the white pumpkin seeds, but like the gold green ones or sunflower seeds or, you know, some almonds, like sliced almonds or something, um, a little nuts. And you can throw in some dried cranberries. Or I also really like to get the pre-cut, the pre-sliced apples from Trader Joe's um, because we're going for convenience here and they don't get brown as quickly as like if you were to fresh cut an apple. I've done that before. I fresh cut it, just put a little lemon juice on it and it's fine for a couple days. But I just get the pre-cut apples and then I just chop them up just a little bit more just like a little slice 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 and then just toss them in and then you get fruit in there as well or you can get blueberries which would be pretty easy um because you don't have to cut those or anything or you know you can cut up some grapes and then like if you want to do like a like a Waldorf type of salad I think this one has grapes with the chicken I don't know kind of different but yeah so you can do different things you could do candy pecans and like crumble blue cheese and like something like that or sliced strawberries for like a summer salad just something easy but our go-to is arugula shredded carrots um i put a little bit of cheese in it 
my husband doesn't like cheese, so don't put any, a little bit of crumbled cheese, a little bit of seeds or nuts, and a protein. And then you can buy like a pre-made dressing or I will just make one with olive oil and red wine vinegar and some herbs, like some, um, I put an Italian seasoning, uh, garlic powder, like maybe some onion powder sometimes, salt and pepper, and you're off to the races. So that's what I typically do. Um, and it makes it really easy and it's pretty cheap. <laughs> so it's just super easy. Whatever is like least amount of prep possible, least dishes. And so I just line up all these containers on the countertop and I just throw in the arugula, throw in the carrots, throw in the cheese and mine, throw in the seeds and nuts and all of ours and throw in the dried cranberries. Um, I do try to chop some things like apples or something, but I try to already cooked proteins as well. If you can get cooked proteins, like I said, like the lentils, I just throw the lentils in. Um, that's easy. And or like the baked tofu, like I don't heat it up. If you're fine with that, I just put it in cold and I'll eat that. Um, or if you like lunch meat, like I said, deli meat, lunch meat, anything like that, that would work great. So that's what I do. And it's just easy and it's nice where you can like mix it up enough to where like you can do different variations, right? Like, like a blue cheese, um, candy pecan, you can put hard boiled eggs in there. You can buy hard boiled eggs in a package at Trader Joe's if that doesn't weird you out. <laughs> and you can chop them up and put them in there. Or you could do like bacon bits on it too. Or like you can just really mix it up and just make whatever you want. Anyways, I have my salad here that I did this one today because I didn't, we had a, a bag salad to actually use up. So I split it for my husband and I the bag salad. So this is a Trader Joe's bag salad because it expires tomorrow. So <laughs> I want to use that up first before I start making the salads for the week. But that's been my go-to and it's been like life-changing. I love it. It's so good. Um, and if you want some like carbs along with it, obviously you have a little side of bread, um, like a little nice little piece of focaccia or something, which I love making focaccia. Uh, you could have like a little bagel on the side or if you want, you could just do like a wrap. Like you could just get like a whole wheat tortilla or a regular tortilla and you could take the contents of the salad and put it in the tortilla and just have like a little wrap to eat because sometimes wraps get soggy. But like I love a little salad wrap. That's super good too. Oh, and like olives. I'll add Kalamata olives into mine sometimes just because they taste good. But you can add olives into it. So that's also delicious. Um, I think that's everything. But yeah, so that's what I do. So now that the baby's asleep, this is usually her long nap. It's usually about two hours. So we'll see if she does that today. But it's usually at least an hour and a half. So this is when I can get the chunk of my work done. So I need to start printing out the orders, figure out the stock numbers from the weekend, and then start printing the September kit so I can and design because this is kind of like her main nap. If this one's two hours, her next one's only a half hour and it's never really that long to like do anything. By the time she actually gets down and um, I like settle in, I'll have like 15, 20 minutes left maybe. Um, so it's never very long. She ends up waking up at like 25 minutes. So I have like 10 to 15 minutes. It's never long enough to get a lot done. So this is gonna be the bulk of the day of work. And then we'll get to the office after she wakes up. Um, so we'll see how much more I show you. I'm not really sure how much more, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so I wanna show you really quick this kit that I've been working on. Um, the baby's about to wake up, I think. She's been in and out a lot today, which is strange. Normally she does like a full like two hours, just like conked out. But she's been waking up so many times and crying. So I think it might be her teeth or something, her teething, but um, so anyway, so uh, before she gets up, I wanted to show you guys really quickly the kit I designed for this weekend's releases. So this is the Autumn Witch Journaling Kit. I thought this clip art was so pretty, but I also wanted to mix up this area here. So this before was date covers. I never use the date covers when I use the journaling kit because um, I feel like there's always dates on the planners. Like I just don't need them, you know what I mean? Like they, they weren't really adding a whole lot, I felt like, to the kit. I felt like it would have been better use to add in like these type of labels and some icons and a little bit of text. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. I had almost just put in like two boxes here, like bigger boxes, um, which I am open to replace this with like two bigger boxes, but I just wasn't sure if people would want like two boxes. It's kind of a random number, <laughs> um, but I, was, I wasn't sure. So I'd be curious to know what else you guys would like to add it in. To me, date covers just didn't really make sense anymore, but if they really, if you're like, wait, no, I actually really like those, please let me know. Um, and I can put them back in. I just wanted to try out something a little different. I thought this might be kind of fun. So um, this is the first kit. I think each day this week I'm gonna design a new journaling kit because I have 
five sets of clip art to design for this weekend with like fall type journaling kits. So this is the first one. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Other than that, I've just been printing out all of the um, September monthly kits and I printed out the orders. Um, so I'm just finishing up the glossy. Now I printed the matte the September monthly, finishing up the glossy. And I believe these are all the tasks I had to do today. And then we're gonna go to the office when she wakes up. Um, and I'm going to cut the rest of the kids if I can. I'm just gonna let the graphic run while we play in the front like office area. So um, that's gonna be the goal. This might be the end of the vlog now. I don't know if I'll vlog again at her next nap, if she will nap. I don't know what she's got going on today. Um, but if this is the end, um, I hope you like this video and I hope you had a wonderful Monday. I know this is very different than like what I've been doing, but I'm just trying something new and let me know if you like it. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Okay, so it's quite a bit later. It is 4.10 now and the baby just went down for her last little 30 minute nap. Um, and the lighting here is not that great because the sun shines directly through all of our windows on this wall during the time of year in the summer. So I have the curtains closed because it just gets so hot in here. So we really moved her over into her own room at the right time because it would just been so bright and hot in this room if she had to take naps in here. So she's kind of, she's kind of like going, I think she's asleep now. She's been kind of fighting it a little bit, but I think she's asleep now. So, um, yeah, I got all of the kits printed. The September monthly kits are printed. I didn't get back over to the office to cut the rest of the kits. Um, we just didn't really have enough time. Uh, so hopefully tomorrow we'll go back tomorrow morning. She has her six month appointment tomorrow afternoon. So we won't be going in the afternoon wake window, but in the morning we shall go. Um, I think over to the office to try to finish cutting those. So that is it for this daily video um we just kind of hung out and played around here i try to like make sure i have one wake window where she's at home and she can play with her toys and we can work like on her different like skills and like read books or sing songs and work on her like sitting and rolling and crawling um so she's like plenty of time to practice that so she's not just like in her car seat or like at the office and i'm like holding her all the time um so yeah that worked out because we got to do that and then i was able to we went on like a little walk um in her little carrier so uh we were able to walk around the apartment complex a little bit and she got to see the flag which she loves seeing the flags like waving in the wind so <laughs> she got to see the flag which was good and uh we just kind of go around and look at different plants and flowers because <laughs> i don't know what else to do with her and i just feel like maybe it's interesting like the trees so we just kind of look at different stuff around um the apartment complex and a little bit down the street but yeah so that is it for today um she'll wake up in like a half hour probably and then my husband will be home pretty soon and he can take over and I can get a little bit of a break. <laughs> um, and then just like wash bottles and make dinner and all that kind of stuff. So we're both working all the time, aren't we? Um, but I hope you had a fun time watching this video. I don't know. I'm gonna try to see if I can like airdrop all these to my computer now and get them uploaded or just like spliced together because it's quite a bit of footage. Um, so I'm gonna try that now and see how that goes. And hopefully I can get this up pretty soon. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if this is interesting. If you'd be interested in like a daily vlog that doesn't show my baby. Um, more of just like the work aspect of things. I can't show a ton. Because I'm not able to do a ton right now. Because I have limited time. Um, it's limited to like uh, two hours a day. So let me know if you think this is interesting. I can try to show stuff with the baby. Like what we do but without showing her. Um, uh, maybe, I don't know. I guess it's not really, it's not really, I don't know. I try to stay off my phone when I'm with her if I can. Um, or we're just like FaceTiming my mom and stuff. Um, if I get a little bit stir crazy. So <laughs> yeah, um, but I hope you had a wonderful time watching this video. I hope you had a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.